Hey guys and welcome back. I have here the new um, Paradise Islands palette from Nomad Cosmetics. So I thought that I would do a video just kind of going through the palette and seeing what I think about it. So this palette actually came out probably like a month ago or so and I actually did buy it on launch day. Here's a fun quick little story. I haven't posted a video in like I don't know, like five months. <laughs> but the reason for that is because I actually had a video filmed. I think I filmed it at the very beginning of January. It was like a full like makeup collection video and it was like four hours of footage and it took me a long time to edit and I finally got it all finished. Then when I tried to like export it and upload it, my phone, because I was editing it on my phone, um, apparently ran out of space and it wouldn't let me like export the video. I tried to like go through my phone and delete a bunch of stuff and like nothing I was doing was working and I just could not for the life of me get this video to export. So I eventually like gave up and was like fine I'll just do it on my computer, I'll re-edit the whole thing and I'll start again. So I went on my computer, I got all the videos from my iCloud, <laughs> then I went to go do that. But then, for some reason, I don't know what happened to the files, but the iMovie on my computer was saying that the some of the video files like weren't compatible. I just got really frustrated and over it, so yeah. I've been dealing with that for the last, I don't know, a few months, I guess. So I finally decided to just scrap that entire video. Maybe I'll try it again one day, but today is not that day. So anyways, I want to talk about this palette. So I've talked about Nomad on my channel a few times before, and they are one of my favorite brands. They are a smaller brand, um, but they are amazing, and if you haven't ever tried them, I really recommend that you do. They have some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes ever, and their formula is incredible. I've said this before, but I absolutely love all of the thought that goes into all of Nomad's packages. Um, so every time you order one, you get a little postcard for the destination of the palette that you bought. So yeah, this one is Paradise Islands. And they also have this in there, which is a little Protecting Our Oceans pamphlet. I think that they actually donated some of the proceeds to some of the like ocean charities. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like they donated some of the proceeds to this sea turtle foundation. It's kind of cool. They also have in here that they have adopted a nursery of coral. So that's really awesome too. And it also says on the back here that they are going 100% plastic free, which is awesome as well. Just another reason to love Nomad. The actual palette comes in this little wrapper and then it's got this cute little sea turtle sticker stamp thing here. So here we have the actual palette in the box <laughs> and then we have this. Then we have the inside of the palette that looks like this. It's really really colorful, really nice for summertime. Um, yeah, there's a lot of colors in here that really excite me. So <laughs> I was drawn to this palette as soon as I saw like the promo pics. Just like all the blues and greens are like some of my favorite shades of eyeshadow anyways. But yeah, I'm excited. So it is an 18 pen palette. And I've mentioned this before in my other videos, but they're like, <laughs> they have like the velvet, vel velvet, velvetiest. I don't know how you say that. The most velvet feeling eyeshadows I've ever felt. They're so smooth and so buttery and just so nice. I think what I want to do is I kind of want to go through swatches of all these because I really want to see what all of these look like. Um, and then we will try out a look. I'm just going to start with the top row and just go across like that and we'll go row by row. So this first shade is called Bora Bora. Ooh. I'm just going to do it right here. Probably easiest for me. So this is Bora Bora. Just kind of like a silvery pinky color. And then this next one is called Sun. These are like really reflective. <laughs> oh, that is so soft. <laughs> so then this one is Sky. It's kind of just like a matte peach. You can't see that at all. It's like blending in with my skin. <laughs> then we have Moon. That one is pretty. That's like an orange shimmer. And then we have this like light pastel-y matte orangey. This one is called Mana. Let's put it up here. Yeah, it's really hard to see it on here, but... And then this one is, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it, I don't know if it's Moria. I don't know if that's correct. I'll just put this one down here. 
So that is the first row of shades there. Um, it's really hard to see these reflective ones. But yeah, so that is the first row, which is more like kind of pinky orangey tones. So moving into the second row, these are more like greens. This first one is called Fish, and this one is like a bright, like lime green shim shimmer. I can't speak. I'll go this way this time. Wow. It looks more yellow on camera, but it's definitely like a greeny yellow. And then we have a matte lime green. And this one is called Tiki. And it's pretty pigmented. I don't know how well you can see it. So then we have this kind of like emerald green shimmer. And this one is called Turtle. That's really pretty too. And then we have a matte dark green. This one is called Lizard. love how pigmented the Nomad shades are all the time. This one looks pretty cool. I think this might be a pressed glitter, um, but this one is called Shark. Oh my god, that is absolutely gorgeous. So this is Shark. I am in love. <laughs> and then we have this like matte kind of turquoisey blue, and this one is called Stingray. Oh my god. Okay, Stingray is extremely pigmented. So that's the second row there. And the last row we're gonna go into, there's some blues and some purples. So this first one is like a dark matte blue. And again, I don't really know how to pronounce this one. If it's Huahin, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but that is that one. This one, I was really intrigued by. This one is called Ocean. And that one's really pretty too. It's kind of got like a silvery like sheen to it almost and then we have dolphin oh jesus <laughs> some of these mats are like like extremely highly pigmented then next we have whale that one's almost just like an iridescent blue that one's really pretty and then the next one is called seashell which is just this kind of like a light lavendery color that one might be kind of hard to see it's pretty light and then last we have this one called Tahiti. And that one's pretty. So that is that last row. So there's a lot of really, really gorgeous shimmers in this in this palette. And the mattes are incredible, which is no surprise because Nomad is incredible with their matte formula. So that was all of the shades. Now I need to try to decide which ones I want to put on my eyes. I'm having a hard time because I really like that shark shade, but then I also really like that ocean one too. So I think first I'm gonna go in with Dolphin, which is this one right here. Um, so it's kind of just like a light kind of tealy color. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use this one as my crease slash transition shade. That's pretty pigmented, and I'm sure I could build that up too, but do I want to? <laughs> we'll see. It's really hard to find matte shades that are like like bright colors that are pigmented like this. <laughs> At least I find. Wow. <laughs> okay, I look kind of crazy right now, but yeah, that is extremely pigmented. I'm going to take this Stingray shade, and this one, I'm going to just put my outer corners and just kind of blend it into the middle a little bit. And then also just kind of bring it into the crease. And those colors go really nicely together, actually. So we have a lot of blue going on right now. So let's just add some more, why don't we? So I really want to use that shark shade, which was that like really, really shimmery blue color. So I'm just going to take my finger as I always do with shimmers. I always feel so bad, like... <laughs> actually using Nomad shadows because I hate ruining their little stamps because they're always so cute. Like in this palette the whole top row is like suns and then if you can see and then like this row has like the little beach hut things and then these ones have turtles. This is so cute. So this color I'm just gonna pop right on my- oh my god. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> That is really, really pretty. I wanna try out these greens too. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that matte lime green shade, which was Tiki, which was this guy here, and I'm gonna put that one um, on my waterline here. Okay. 
So this one isn't doing like as much as I want it to. When I swatched it, it was like super bright, but now it's just kind of coming off a little more muted. I think like it's really hard to do a lime green shade. Um, I had like the same problem when I tried the ColourPop Lizzie McGuire palette. There was also like a lime green shade in there and it did the same thing. So I think that lime green is just like a really hard shade to do. And it's definitely like, it's definitely there. It's just not as like, bam, as I want it to be, you know? I wanna try the shimmer um, lime green shade as well, which was Fish, which is this one. And this one I just wanna put in my inner corners for a little bit of color in there. I feel like you can't really see it on camera, but I can see it in person. <laughs> is really pretty though i feel like it's just like a really nice summer look like i feel like this is like i'm going to a pool party like circa 2002 you know actually i should try one more for my brow bone highlight i'm gonna go and use bora bora which was that like pinky silvery shade and i'm just gonna put this one in my brow bone for a little highlight i think that is going to be the look. I'm just gonna add some mascara and maybe some eyeliner to just kind of finish it up. Okay, so to finish off there, I just used the Stila Huge <laughs> Mascara and then I used the REM Beauty, um, whatever this is called, just black eyeliner, <laughs> just on my bottom waterline <laughs> words so yeah that is the look for today honestly i really really am in love with that shark shade i used i think it's absolutely stunning this is another great palette from nomad which i'm not surprised by literally in the last like year or two have become like one of my favorite brands and you should check them out too if you never have i will leave a link to their website below specifically to this palette if you do want it again it is the paradise islands palette it was their latest release and it's just beautiful and this is gonna get a lot of use in the summertime you can really create a lot of fun colorful looks with this and i am very excited to do so so yeah that's gonna do it for this video um i hope you enjoyed um I know it's been a very long time since I've been here. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I think um, at one point I'm going to try to refilm that makeup collection video I was filming or did film <laughs> and I don't know, we'll see. Um, I'm thinking I might also eventually maybe do a video um, kind of going through all of my Nomad Cosmetics palettes, if that's something that you'd like to see. I have quite a few of them now, so <laughs> I think it'd be kind of fun to go through them and maybe swatch them all, talk about my favorite ones, that kind of thing. But yeah, that's for another time. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye.